Let us have a look at the ease of use of AEC. In this exercise, I'm going to draw a quick spiral stair. So the stair command, I'm going to choose to draw a spiral stair. The width and the height of the stair, once again, you can add in there the treads, etc. Once you click on OK, it's going to ask you for the center of the spiral, starting point, and then it's going to ask you for the radius. So I'm going to add a radius of 1,500 millimeters. Once I hit enter, it will draw a AEC stair for you. On top of that, I'm going to add a spiral wall or curved wall. Once again, you choose your wall style. I choose the type to be a curved wall. The origin, once again, is on the left, which means if I draw from that point to that point all the way around to there, it will create a curved wall for me. Once again, going back to my railings, I can add a railing from the stair, indicating the stair. And if I go to the properties of that stair, once again changing the anchor, to be on the left hand side with an offset of 75 millimeters from the edge it will update my model accordingly once you've got something like that doing a three-dimensional orbit at first it will look as if it is a two-dimensional drawing simply by doing a regeneration by pressing R on the keyboard you will find that that model is actually generated in 3D using AEC objects AEC Objects has intelligence built into the walls, stairs, railings, etc. So if I, for instance, go and I select the wall and I go to Object Properties, you will see the wall itself has a height in there. So if I change the height, let's say down to 4 meters, it automatically changes in my model. Each and every AEC object that is selected, you will also see has grab or grip points, points where you can drag that entity by. So if I click on that drag point and I drag it down to that position at the bottom over there, you create a curved wall that uh, slopes down from the top to the bottom. If for instance I orbit around this model a little bit and I select only the stair itself, you will see the stair also has a little point where you can drag the stair by. If I drag that stair upwards, you will see the AEC railing automatically adjusts accordingly. So that is just to give you some examples of how easy it is to use AEC objects.